Hey guys, uh, it's been quite a while since I've actually uploaded an actual video instead of cutting it out of a stream. Uh, threw up Steam today and saw a couple games. I was like, hey, you know what? Try those out. This is called The Supper. Free to play. Um, I haven't even actually looked into it yet, so I have no idea even really what this is. It just says it's a little adventure game. Uh, obviously in the bottom says some of this content may not be suitable for all ages, but my channel is mostly supposed to be for older people ish, like 18 and over at least. Anyways, so let's get in. The fuck was that? Oh, that is loud. I don't know how loud that is for you guys. The Supper, a bite-sized game by Octavia Navarro. Navarro. I cannot roll my R's. And... I need a set of things, so this only goes for about half an hour. What the fuck? Miss Appleton. Give me a second. Give me a second. Thankfully, I've got a preset for 30 minutes. Why I had to look... Wake up! Oh, I just double clicked. That wasn't. Oh, what is wrong with you, ma'am? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? I don't know what's talking and what kind of voice to give it. But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Where is the time? Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? What is talking? Oh, it's a point and click game. Okay, she's kind of shrugging like, uh, I don't know what you want me to do with this. Solid. Music got a little bit. Okay, uh, I need to light candles. I know, it's dark in here. Some light will make the place more inviting. Reachy, reachy. Uh... Uh, er, was there a candle in here I could grab? An ember, maybe? Light my cane thing on fire. Fire tongue? Aha! Uh, 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 fire tongue on the ember? Awesome. Uh, can I use the fire tongue on the candle? Uh, did that work? Did I just burn the house down? Oh, that worked. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. What the fuck is this old woman, though? It's kind of creaky. No time for walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Smell. Why don't you go and make our special sauce, or make sure our special sauce is ready for them? I look like a, well, I guess if you're like an innkeeper, you wouldn't probably look like a butcher, but she's kind of green and has four arms. And what is the special sauce made out of? Mmm, smells delicious. <laughs> Do you hear that, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. You think it could be them? Who is them? Oh, hi. What in the ever living fuck are you? Oh, those noises. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. Oh, those noises are not okay. So what would the gentleman like to start with? <gasps> uh, mind controlling function. Good leg. Ooh, spicy red sword is your personal favorite. A mouth watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. 
shark one. A severed human hand? And <gasps> mm -hmm. Over there. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Mm -hmm. Hand and tongue stew. Mm -hmm. And you thought this recipe Ooh. wouldn't be appealing to our customers. Ooh. But they're monsters. Uh. I was right. You were wrong. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the old man want? Old man want? Excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce rosé <gasps> is our chef's specialty. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. <gasps> And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen wall if you have any problem remembering them. Where's the ingredients at? Are they in the kitchen? Or do I gotta go outside? Uh, uh, there's the swordfish tail. Okay, so, pigeon a la sauce rosé needs one wild pigeon covered with special sauce. I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You creatures make weird noises. Stop it. I hear a pigeon. There it is. Come here. Ah, I need something to poke it. This is a lover. Uh, I can't do anything with a lover. Uh, oh, nope, nope, go to jail. Up on the wooden cart? I hope you're not thinking of climbing on there. Yes, I was. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Uh, fish boot. That a boot. It is a wet boot. Why do I need a wet, wet boot? Gotcha, you little shit. Fall. Oh. Ah. That's the main ingredient for our pigeon supreme a la sauce rose. Now let's finish the dish. The creatures are horrified. Okay, so pigeon and special sauce. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Now... Spicy red swordfish. One blue swordfish tail, which is up right here on the wall. Add one chili pepper and cover with special sauce. that she just gasped about. Bon appetit, monsieur. Monsieur. Oh. Oh. Uh, are you okay? Oh, you're not okay. Oh! Uh. Uh, I didn't even read the last one. Don't worry, they're used. They are used to pass out, and they are used to pass out in taverns. Used to passing out in taverns. They will won't notice he stopped breathing. <coughs> uh, thank you for the scissors. I kind of need those for that. But what's in the chest? Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Uh, 
What does this lever do? The lever does, she doesn't know. Let's go into the jail. You can't go into the jail. Uh... Oh, wait. No. Okay, I was gonna say, that would be kind of fucked up to be able to do that right away, but... <gasps> yes, yes, I didn't mean to click on you. Go away. Are you kidding me, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. Oh, uh, uh, no, uh, stop that. I didn't mean to do that. Didn't know what that was. What the fuck did... Oh! Oh! Can I make a key with that? Uh, you two just, like, feast on him for now. It'll be an appetizer. We'll stop that. Maybe. Now we'll the wax on the lever. Let's get scissors on the jail door. Um, all the way back up to the boat, maybe. Joyous Lobster Inn. Best place in town for a snack. Uh, I am obviously overlooking. So. Sure it does, they're monsters. I am <gasps> too, apparently, but... Can I, like, have your hand up? I don't know what it would do for me, but... Oh, she had buck crack. Horrifying. Captain's cabin. Oh! Uh, hmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Take the butcher knife. That'd be helpful. Sip. Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone ever up. Beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Well, I mean, that's nice, but that's horrible at the same time. Should be trapped away. <laughs> what the fuck? Puddle. Uh, water? Uh, I got water for some. Aha! Chili! Ain't that some shit that I decided to grab that. That's not how that works. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I need 
a hand in oh, that'll probably be in a jail. Don't mind the dead body. You'll be fine. Okay, so put your knife on the tail. Up! Just whip it at the fish. Okay, so I need blue fish tail or blue swordfish tail. Add one chili. Cover with special sauce. Okay, perfect. Those are the main main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. And special sauce. Yay! Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Um, do you want the swordfish? Yes. Maybe. Yes. <gasps> Here, eat that. Bon appetit. Oh, oh, that's not what I expected. <gasps> eat it. And dead. Hey, look, there's a tongue and keys. Oh yes, a satisfied stomach. The delicacy. Delicate scent? Delicate scent? It's a pleasure worth dying for. Haha, <laughs> don't you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh! I need your puns. Can I have your tongue? I can have your tongue. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Uh, now off to the jail. What do I need? I need the slimy tongue and a hand. So I've already got the tongue. Pretty sure you're not plump. Er, yeah, it's a plump hand and a slimy tongue, right? Recipe for a plump human hand and a slimy tongue. And yeah, it's not plump. I didn't mean to do that. Can I? Yeah, seriously. Wax hand. Like, like, wax hand. Oh my god, it is. Perfect! Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Wax hand and tongue. Don't quite think that's what the rest of the dog Yay. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. No wonder these people are dying. You're a horrible chef. Oh, all these creatures. Here, eat this and die. Bon appetit, my cartilin cartilaginous genus genius friend. Shark dude, eat this. Hello. Oh, you need to <gasps> calm down. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great, now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. He's not hungry. Ah, oh, he's dead. Jenkins! Can I ring the bell? Is there like summon a cleaner? Outside. Oh. Ah. Uh, what's wrong with the outside? Why can't I move anywhere? Oh, wait. Wooden cart? Yes. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This'll be useful to carry the bodies out. <laughs> Oh, 
dum de dum doom dum de doom ten fathoms deep on the road to hell yo ho ho and a bottle of oh here you are ah oh, that's what the lever is for pull the lever crunk we've never used the grinder with such large specimens let's hope the bones don't get stuck Oh, that's a special box. I trust me. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Reminds me of the tale of Sweeney Todd. Oh, hi. Who are you? Uh, thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. Oh, what? I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. When those trees beat trees, when those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal the gold nugget from him. Oh god, they cut my legs and arm off. Arms? Legs? He's got four things there. Three things. I won it fair and square. Why was I reading? Or is it just kind of old bat decrepit? While I was anguishing and suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well I used to like to where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Apple. Sweet dreams. Goodbye. That actually kind of gave me goosebumps. That that is, yeah, that took a turn that I was not expecting. <laughs> the supper. Well, that was a cute little game. Uh, really, really morbid, but had a kind of a sweet ending to it. Very well made, though, Octave. Octavi Navarro. Uh, I think it's actually, honestly, probably one of the first point-and-click games I've ever really played. Editing and proofreading. Made with Unity. Adventure Creator by CRISPR, soundeffectsfreesound.org. Oh, these are sounds from... That's actually, uh... Some generic sounds I haven't heard before. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the developer. So we can keep creating games. You can do so by buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your generosity. Hmm. I think that's it to it, but... That was a, that was a cool little game. Uh, a lot shorter than I was expecting. Even with um, not knowing what the hell I was doing there for a little while, but... Uh, yeah. I guess, um... I guess that's it for this video. If you liked the video, drop a like. Uh, hopefully I'll be putting out more videos like this, uh, as well as some clips from our streams, which you can always catch us streaming 8 a.m. to 11, or 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really have much of an outro because I don't, haven't done outros in a while, so... I guess you guys know what to do. See you in the next one.